Hello, everyone. Over the past six months, we've done two shows in our continuing series of, of off-the-radar areas of, of collecting historic Pueblo pottery. We've done uh, catalogs for, for each with, with lovely photographs by Addison Doty of a great many beautiful uh, pots in, in full, full color that these are available for purchase either in the gallery or, or on my, my website. But I thought I, I would just highlight just a few of, of kind of the this, this, this smaller, more minor, easy to lose sight of uh, examples from uh, these two show orientations. One being a San Juan that actually I, I just got into the gallery uh, yesterday, right at the beginning of, of, of December. But let's start with, with the first small cup. And you know, anyone looking for, for perfection in, in the creation of cups, cups created by a master potter, always fun, always exciting to find those. Um, this is the opposite. This looks like a cup created by mom or grandma giving a piece of clay to the child and say, make a wonderful cup for the family. And so here's this cup, not very well formed, a lot of effort w went into it. It's a you know, pinched top all the way around, um, a, a parading array of, of square rectangular-like rectangular -like items with um, not very well drawn lines, dots, uh, little, little angled uh, lines. There's uh, some cloud uh, symbols. This could be rain. Uh, these could be clouds. The you know, kind of a rough decoration on, on the handle. And then in, in Cochity style, splatter design that the child may have seen mother, grandma do many, many times to decorate the inside of the cup. Great artistry, maybe not. Great warmth and an example of how the Pueblo pottery tradition is handed down through the generations to the children. Think about this piece that might have been created in, in 1890. I'm not the first one to love this. This has survived for 120 years. It's, 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 it's warmth and everything that it says about the Cochiti pottery tradition that makes this just a wonderful, wonderful, minor, small, collectible example. Go all the way to the other uh, extreme, and I think it would be first quarter of the 20th century in Isleta. Creation of, of cups became uh, something for the tourist market that, that really, really gained some, some stride. Mostly when we find early 20th century Pueblo cups, a great pre predominance of them, were either from Santo Domingo or from Isleta. This one just happens to be a great example, and there's a couple things noteworthy. One is, you know, the, the, the high angle of, of the handle seems to have been a trademark of a potter or a family, because I've seen a lot of these where the handle isn't in its more usual position, it's, it's angled up, even in invading into the interior of, of the cup. It's thin and beautifully formed, but here's what's wonderful. It's a complex polychrome fine line design, uh, then set off against a simple solid series of, of polychrome red cloud elements. Pretty fine artistry, pretty early childlike work, collectible together, lovely together. The second piece, third piece that, that I want to show you is, uh, if, if you recall, go, if you go online and you look at my blackboard, there's many, many very, very fine, um, larger pieces of, of pottery from Santa Clara, San Juan Pueblos. This is a, a classic black on gray, small jar from San Juan. This is another one of those pots that begs to be looked closely at. It's not something we try to do in Pueblo pottery, particularly with more minor examples. Look close to find the beauty. This one has so much to love. It is beautifully formed, perfectly formed. This was, this was not made by a potter who didn't know her craft. This was an experienced, artistic, wonderful potter. It has uh, a little flattening and a ridge here that in, in later years, and maybe at the times referred to as, as a rainbow band, gentle sloping, beautiful flared uh, rim. And um, if, if my videographer, Zach, was able to get a close up, very, very subtle pie crust rim. It's slipped and polished from here up, 
and not slipped, and the bottom half very typical of San Juan. It is just a classic example of a small San Juan black on gray. It would seem like these would be e easy to find, uh, but to find them in this kind of condition and so beautifully done makes this a minor rarity. So please enjoy. Thank you.